Hi, if you're watching this video, then I want to share a little bit about the seated form of Tai Chi. Many people um, in the past have used the seated form of Tai Chi for health recovery. Those are people that have had an injury, uh, maybe uh, don't have enough strength to be able to stand. And there's a reason that they need to be sitting in order to do Tai Chi. It's often been thought that that's lesser than the standing form and that the, the goal is always to get to the standing form. But what I've discovered is it's actually the other way around. <laughs> we learn a lot more about ourselves if we sit down and we remove some of the obstacles in our movement patterns that may be holding us in odd uh, positions or ways of holding our structure. And when I do the seated form, I have the opportunity of isolating the hips, which means that I have a lot better awareness of how the back is functioning, but also where the power is coming from. And we do have a lot of strength that is gained through the feet, the legs, and the main torso, which still comes from that seated form. So I want you to think about the seated form as an extension of Tai Chi, whereby you actually have made a choice to go deeper into your Tai Chi, and you wanna understand the movement patterns that have not been supporting you, and to gain some new ones that really are strong. Then when you go to your standing form, you have the opportunity of the knowledge of what you felt internally moving and manipulating, and you're going to be able to apply that to some of the standing principles, whether it's Tai Chi, Saber, or Low Cup. It's a different way of thinking about things, but I want you to not consider it a lesser quality to be doing the seated form of Tai Chi, or that it's only reserved for certain types of people. And for those people that attend a seated form class, you may have a room fill, filled with people with all kinds of abilities and opportunities. And that's a chance for you to also learn about how people need to adjust for their own self-care and also ways that you may be able to support. So if there's someone in the room that maybe is blind, then maybe you can become a support for them with helping them achieve the positions that they need because they can't see it, but you can certainly help them find the positions of movement. We can also have challenges like uh, foot or um, injuries and being able to listen to things about the back, the neck, um, and the power of what comes through the feet. So it really is a great learning opportunity. And I hope you'll take the challenge and instead of just signing up for a standing form Tai Chi class, sign up for the seated form as well. As well. You're gonna find out it makes a huge difference. And in the standing class, sometimes it's really beneficial to just sit down, learn it from there, see what you can get um, when you're working on the different kinds of movement patterns. All right, thanks for listening. See you in class.